In this video, I will show you how to set up and run the Tortoise TDS model on your local computer. In this way, you only have to install required modules and packages once instead of doing it every time you're using a Colob notebook, for example. Also, depending on the GPU that you have, this potentially helps you to generate speech faster. As a first step, we will install Conda. And Conda is an open source package management system and helps us to quickly install, run and update packages and their dependencies. In our case, that will be Python modules. And why do we use Condor? It is not that uncommon that version mismatches between packages or required dependencies happen and then the code that you're using is actually not working anymore for you in your local state. And this is why you usually freeze package versions and then just install them for each specific project. So you don't run into issues with methods not being defined or not available anymore in that package version that you're currently downloading. And Condor is a great way to allow virtual environments. That's how it's called for, for each project that you have. So I highly recommend, and I think it's definitely a best practice if you're working in Python to use Condor as your virtual environment assistant tool. <laughs> For this video, we will use Miniconder, which is a free minimal installer for Conda. There's also like, let's say, bigger distribution of Anaconda, but then you will also install other programs that are not necessarily needed and it just requires more memory of your local computer. So we will just go for the minimal free installer of Conda. And for this, now it's depending on either if you're using Windows, then this will be your guide. So you would uh, download the Miniconda installer for Windows, double click the executable file, just follow the instructions and finally just type in your terminal window conda list and check out if the installation was successful. And I will just quickly show you how you can validate that your installation was successful. For this just open a terminal or um, CMD on Windows and then you just type in conda list and if you get something that looks similar like this then your installation was successful. And then we can move on to the next step. As a next step, we will clone the Tortoise TDS repository to our local computer and then install our required modules. For this, I will mainly use the commons that I already used in my Tortoise TDS Colob notebook. In case you don't have a local GPU, you might want to check out the Colob tutorial that I already published. I will link it somewhere here. <laughs> but now let's get started. For this first, navigate to the specific location you would like the repository to be located on your local computer. I just use here my home location. And then the first thing that we will do is clone the GitHub repository to our local computer. Okay, now, now let's navigate to the repository or folder. And yeah, I told you that we will use Condor. So first let's create a virtual environment and then install all required packages or modules in that virtual environment. And for this we type in Condor create minus n, that's the name of our environment. I will just call it tortoise and I will use Python 3.9 as our version. I looked it up in the setup requirements and it says at least it must be 3.6. Okay, now our virtual environment was created and to activate the environment, we already can see it in the print that it says Condor activate tortoise. So by default, if you open a terminal, you're usually in the base environment if you don't set it up differently. And now we'll jump into our tortoise environment. And now all the packages that we install will only be available in the tortoise environment. But before we install any packages, let's first make sure that our PyTorch is already set up on our local computer, because that's what the installation guide says here first install PyTorch using these instructions. Uh, on Windows, he or the author highly recommends using the Conda installation path. So let's navigate here, have a look. And as you can see, depending on the configuration that you have on your local computer, different comments are recommended or like uh, given to install PyTorch on your computer. Let's say you have a Windows computer and uh, the author recommended using Condor, so we would use this command and depending on the CUDA version that you have uh, then you would have this command and copy that and print it in a terminal and run it. Uh, since I don't have a GPU myself I can't really run it right now on my computer. Uh, if, if you haven't set up PyTorch already now would be the time to do it. 
And yeah, once PyTorch is set up, let's let's install our required modules for the Tortoise TDS model. How do we know which modules we should install? For this, we can see there is a requirements text file and where all the required modules are stated. Also, sometimes the specific versions. This is what I said in the, in the start. Sometimes you have like version mismatches. So it's very important to freeze packages so that it's guaranteed that your code repository will work if you install those specific versions of the modules. Okay, and now let's install all those required modules. We're already in the Tortoise CDS folder. So what we will type in is pip install minus r requirements.txt file and just run this comment. I know all the required modules will be installed. And this is when I ran into many issues. And I think it had two primarily reasons. One reason is that I have a M1 MacBook. So a few pip wheels that are not supported or not available for the ARM architecture were missing. So I had issues installing specific dependencies. And on the other hand side, I don't have a GPU on my local computer. So <laughs> once I had every version mismatched fixed and uh, I could execute actually the code, then while loading the model, I ran into issues because the Tortoise TDS repository doesn't support loading a model to your local CPU. So you definitely have to have a, a CPU and that's why it didn't work for me. But since I want to make sure that the instructions that I give you work, I mounted a Lambda Labs uh, GPU instance and I repeated all the steps that I showed you earlier. And from now on, I will show you how I achieved or like set up tor the Tortoise TDS model on the Lambda Lab cloud instance. And on my Lambda Labs cloud instance, I had to set up the Tortoise TDS model a little bit different. So I also first cloned the GitHub repository to my local instance on the Lambda Hub. Then I changed the directory to the Tortoise TDS folder. And then I first had to install NumPy with a version 1.23. Usually you would install the requirements.txt file to install all the required modules. But for me, I just encountered so many issues and errors. So I just ran the Python setup py file. Um, and install it. The only issue that then happened to me is that NumPy got installed in a too high version, which caused a version mismatch with another library. So by first installing NumPy in the version 1.23, running Python setup py worked for me. And this is basically how my final result looked like, you know, like finished processing dependencies for Tortoise 2.4.2. And now we can start generating actually speech or cloning voice on our local computer or local cloud instance. Usually I would definitely recommend using an IDE for this. Unfortunately, I'm working now in a remote session, so I don't have really an IDE that immediately writes files to that system. So what I did is I just created a TDS PI file, which will generate speech for us later. And then I edited this created file. In case you're working on a Windows computer and don't have those Linux comments, what I actually do is just creating a Python file here. And now we're editing the file. If you have an IDE, yes, just use that. You could also technically use a text editor. Everything works. What I then did is uh, I went to the Colab notebook, which I was referring earlier to, and copied this part. Okay, let's remove the IPython. In case you don't have any experience with VI, by pressing I, you can insert or edit the text. And by pressing escape, you can leave this insert mode. And since we're not working in a Jupyter notebook, we don't need the IPython module here for anything interactive. So the only um, modules that we need is like Torch, Torch Audio, and uh, Tortoise. Um, modules. So now I can press escape and type in write and quit. So our changes are uh, saved. And now you can see we're in the tortoise environment. Everything is set up. And now let's try to run the file that we created right now by typing in python tds.py. Okay, apparently something with a cooter driver is not correct or the installation of the torch module wasn't working properly. So what I did is I went back to the instruction guide 
and selected Linux and Condor, Python and CUDA 11.7. How did I know the CUDA version? I just typed in the NVIDIA SMI and found the uh, CUDA version here, 11.7. And now I reinstall the PyTorch setup using Anaconda. So PyTorch will be updated in our virtual environment. Okay, now that our PyTorch setup got installed again. Now let's try to execute or run our file again. So I think if you run the setup py file, the PyTorch gets installed, but maybe the CPU version and not the correct version. So as you can see by running or installing PyTorch again, this got fixed for me. I hope it doesn't happen to you, but maybe it does. In case you have similar issues, make sure to also re reinstall PyTorch in your virtual environment. And now we can see that all the model weights are getting loaded. So this looks good. And we didn't encounter any issues. All the weights got loaded. Our model got initialized. So it looks like everything is now set up and running or ready to uh, yeah, generate speech. And now let's add the part exactly for this. Now let's change the file so that we can generate our first speech with the model on our local setup. And for this, once one more time, we use VI or I use VI. I hope you will use an IDE for this. I will also share the file later. So we will again go into our insert mode and add the text that we would like to generate. <laughs> I just leave it now as thanks for reading this article. I hope you learned something. And the preset, yeah, fast is fine. What we need to add is a custom voice name. Maybe for this tutorial, I'll just skip the part where we enter our own voice example. So I, I won't do the voice cloning of my own voice. I will just use a existing voice. And for this, we can jump into the Tortoise CDS repository and can see here on a Tortoise voices, there are already existing voices. So I will just go for Tom. I don't know how, how Tom's voice sound, but we will figure it out. And so we will use Tom's voice. And the last part will be to load the voice and generate. Yeah, and then we will load the voice, generate speech from, from the given text that we have here. Our voice samples will be loaded from our custom voice, which is Tom. And also we get the conditioning latents and our preset is fast. And then finally, we will just generate a WAV file from our generated speech or tensor. Okay, one more time, pressing escape, a write and quit. And let's generate our first speech. Okay, and as we can see, our text got generated and it took around yeah, one minute, one minute uh, 10. Uh, I think if I would have taken an instance that has even more power, then the computation would have been even faster. But I think this is also quite good. Don't remember exactly how long it took on Colab, but I think it's a little bit faster if I'm uh, correct. And that's also one of the advantages of using your local setup that hopefully the generation is faster than using one of the Colab GPUs. And since I'm on my Lambda Labs instance, I now have to copy the file from my remote instance to my local computer to actually listen to it. And for this, I already prepared the statement. Just have to add the file name, which is generated minus Tom that wave. I found it here. Okay, <laughs> perfect. I forgot the folder and there the file is. Let's listen to it. Thanks for reading this article. I hope you learned something. <laughs> Yeah, I like, I like the uh, pronunciation of the words. <laughs> it definitely sounds different than my examples I had. And maybe I should try to upload my voice examples a little bit different because I don't know, the, uh, I like the pronunciation of the Tom voice. And yeah, that's it basically for today's video. I hope that the way I showed you also works for you, that you don't run into any version mismatches. And that's it for today's video. I hope it helped you getting all set up and running with a Tortoise TDS model on your local computer. If so, give this video a thumbs up. would really appreciate that. And also, if you would subscribe to the channel. Actually, my plan is to use the revenue or the money that I will earn with YouTube videos to train voice cloning or TDS models. 
and of course I will also share them with you guys and make them publicly available. So yeah, I would really appreciate if you would support me and subscribe to the channel. And until then, have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>